economist Stephen Duckett now says that Australia should switch strategy and pursue elimination, not suppression. Are you starting to think that he's right? No. Uh, look, the particular person you quoted said uh, in March that we would run out of ventilators within three weeks, uh, and uh, that was... Uh, uh, a wildly incorrect and uh, irresponsible and dangerous statement. So I'm a, a little surprised that of all the people you choose that person. However, uh, what Stephen, we have Stephen, done Stephen Duckett is, is one, of, is one of the leading health bureaucrats in the country. He, he headed the Commonwealth Department, as you know well. So I guess if you reject that, you're prepared to take the risk of 18 months of possible rolling outbreaks and rolling lockdowns like this. That, that's the risk well, you I take. take. With great respect, <clears throat> uh, with great respect, you always want to check the accuracy of. Uh, recent uh, uh, predictions by a particular source. I'm giving you uh, what was predicted and what actually occurred. But more significantly than that, uh, we've been very realistic. In a global pandemic where there are over 12 million cases and growing, we're over 550,000 lives, we've achieved extraordinary things, but we've been honest with the Australian people that there would be outbreaks. Uh, we saw uh, other countries that have uh, made predictions and then had to to walk back because there have been cases after uh, there have been claims of elimination. What we've done is achieved something in terms of making Australia one of the envies of the world. We've now had an outbreak in Victoria, very significantly linked to a, a, a major breach within hotel quarantine, and now we are providing that support. But Australia's outcome has been uh, really one of the envies of the world. Now in Victoria, my home state, uh, we know we can do this, we've done it as a country, we have to do it again here, and we're doing it because there was a significant breach and a significant uh, outbreak. But to pretend we can wish the disease away uh, is uh, not a, uh, in my view, realistic or responsible statement. That uh, with a global pandemic, a disease which travels silently, a disease which cannot be uh, seen and in many cases is asymptomatic, we have to be honest and upfront with the Australian people and prepare for the long term. Minister, thanks for joining us tonight.